Hello and welcome to Reinfuse. Today we are taking a look at this, which is Bandai's joint ROM system. Daytac, I guess. This is the Dragon Ball Z Z variant, <laughs> and I assume there's others, um, because this one has a name on it. I, I guess there's probably a gun down one, I would imagine. But yeah, um, Bandai have done this a couple of times for different platforms. Um, what I definitely know about is the one on the Super Nintendo. And it's basically a box that's got lots of gubbins in it and then lets them release their own games on their own little cartridges. Uh, I guess this has some of the more expensive reusable bits like memory chips and stuff. And then this just has hard code, uh, just like EEPROMs with program data and graphics data in it. This one's a little bit different though, and that also has these cards. So it has kind of like a barcode battler style business going on. Now, this is the Famicom one, so I'm going to plug into this, not this one, because I still haven't fixed this one, but uh, I guess let's plug it into it, just so you can see what it looks like, uh, but then I'll be plugging it into my uh, Sharp Twin to actually try it out. Right, so be back in a second after some uh, jump cuttery. And there we are, some... Jump cuttery has happened, and as if by magic, this has appeared. So this is it. So it plugs onto the top like this. Uh, there's no cartridge in at the moment. It's got a really interesting mechanism. I'll get this cartridge out to show you. Uh, there's a little button underneath here, and when it's pushed into the console, it locks this door, so you can't actually uh, put the cartridge in or, or take it out, I assume. So uh, that's quite clever. And yeah, on the top here, you see there's the barcode battler style slit or barcode credit card reading magnetic strip kind of slit so yeah so we have these cards here and we have the eponymous barcode on the back although there are some blank ones i'm not entirely sure if they expect you to write your own barcodes out i guess so anyway so yeah so the idea is uh you play your game you need to power up and then you go Woo! and you power up. Right, good fun. It's got a little slit here so that it can uh, accommodate the eject mechanism. That's all very nice. So yeah, so now that's out, you can see there's these little buttons here which cause that to go up and stops this from going in. Like so. Will it stop it coming out? I guess so, I mean, I assume so. That seems to be the main use for it, right? Anyway. Let's plug this into an actually working machine and take a little look at the software. Back in a minute. Okay, so here we are with Dragon Ball Z running. It looks like a Famicom Dragon Ball Z game. Excellent. <laughs> so, uh, well, let's get into it anyway. Oh, that's a nice picture of a card being swiped there. Uh, yep, yeah, probably. Right. Um, all verses, I guess. Okay, so I'm assuming this will work just like every other Barco Battler style game in that we have to swipe our character and that seems to have two blank ones. So it's automatically going to choose our opponent or we're going to have to swap both. So let's actually versus, this may be a two play game anyway. Anyway, we'll find out. Right, this could might take a while because I've got to get under the desk to actually get to the twin Famicom. That took a bit of swiping, but we got it. Uh, okay, yeah, we have to... Okay, so it's two players. So let's swipe the second player. There we go. <laughs> right. So how do we start then? Oh, hello. That's just text changing... Left and right. Do I have to do it on the other joystick or something? There is the other joystick. Oh, 
Yep, okay. Oh, I was expecting like an automatic battling thing, but... <laughs> it's not, so... Oh, I see, okay. So, what you're doing is you're setting your initial... Oh, now it's paused. <laughs> it's another... Okay, so you're just setting your initial status and then you have a proper beat em up although a beat only with one move and jump apparently unless I'm missing something all right <laughs> I was like, yeah you only get one go and then you go back to the beginning so that was Bandai's joint ROM system which yeah just kind of allows them to I guess make cheaper cartridges and also to add on features like the barcode thing which they don't have to put into every cartridge they can just release cartridges for this. I don't know how many are released. I should probably look that up at some point, but it's interesting enough. Um, I'm not a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, but it was quite good fun. Yeah, there's all these other moves, like kicks and stuff you can do. How I could not work that out? Never mind. <laughs> That's quite interesting. Uh, it was very cheap as well. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it wasn't much money. Nobody was bidding on it either, so there you go. Yes, anyway. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you really enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. See you next time.